Hi, I'm Sam. Just want to share a few thoughts with you today. I actually want to start by reading something by Sadhguru in his book, Inner Engineering, that will kick off this talk. Um, what he wrote here in this book, Inner, Inner Engineering, here's the page, uh, in this book, Inner Engineering by Sadhguru, is the physical and mental bodies are like your hardware and software. Hardware and software cannot do anything unless you plug in quality power. So the third layer of self is the energy body. If you keep your energy body in perfect balance, there will be no disease in your physical or mental bodies. You know, once this energy is pure, disease cannot exist within the body. I saw this within myself. I let go of five chronic diseases. I should be in a wheelchair today. I should be in a lot of pain, a lot of misery still. But I let go of the mind. I let go of all these thoughts that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't worthy enough. Now, all these thoughts are nonsense. And what happens is people really engage the mind, whether it's looking for the good things in life, the bad things in life, positive affirmations. You know, all these things keep the mind engaged. And what I discovered in meditation is that I have thoughts, but I'm not my thoughts. I have beliefs, but I'm not my beliefs. I have opinions, but I'm not my opinions. The so more that you can let go of the thoughts, the opinions, the beliefs, the judgments, all this stuff, you just have to simply let it go. Then once you let it go, you know, all things become possible because all the limitations exist in your head. So once you completely let go of this mind, this chatter, grace just descends and all things just happen for your benefit. It's really difficult to convey words to this, but the feeling of that love, that divine love that comes through in grace is, is magical. That's the best way to describe it. But grace is descending in each moment, but our thoughts are creating this barrier above our head here, just creating this barrier. And just a little bit of grace might sometimes flow through. But once you can let this barrier go completely go, grace just flows right through you. And you just follow these impulses, these instincts on what is best for you. Because you know what is best for you. Others are just guessing. But their true knowing is deep with inside you. You can't logic it out. Because logic it out just keeps the mind engaged. You have to simply let go and trust and have faith. Faith in this divine energy that has your best interest in mind. So that's all I really wanted to talk about today was just completely letting go, you know, whether it's using a meditation practice, a mindfulness practice, basically anything can be used to teach you to let go, even anger, sadness, frustration. If you go inward with all those emotions, that becomes your way. The way is never outside of you. It's always within and once you explore within, you pull out these roots. And that's where I really help people is pulling out these roots to allow this grace to flow through unimpeded where all things become possible. You know, if I can help you, just reach out to me. My site is don'twell.org, D-O-N-T-D-W-E-L-L.org. Now it actually should be lettinggo.org. But as I've been going through the process of deepening, of letting go more and more, you know, it's really about not dwelling in thoughts, but completely like going of all thoughts. Most thoughts are not supportive. They're, guess, they're living in tomorrow, yesterday, or guessing tomorrow. All we know for certain is right here. You know, the power of now, the power of now is allowing this grace to flow through unimpeded. So if I can help you, I'm here. All right, blessings to you. Stay beautiful.